We are going to die. Those without the stomach for this place must move on. Take advantage of this faith-fueled charity. It will not last. My lord, go f yourself. Behold, righteousness and zealotry gleaming in the morning sun. Spartans! What is your profession? Sucker.
reassemble. Evil is timeless after all.
This has been a most unusual day. What's up, everybody? Welcome to BOCW Thursday Night Thunder. We still have one more hardcore stall to give away. Kay's defending that later tonight. We've got seven show or seven matches, and I believe, unless Dustin wants to correct me, we'll be taking you over to Dustin for the BOCW after party. Yeah. Kay's made some history on Sunday night or Monday night. He became the first person ever in a debut to walk out of his debut night with two titles. That's never happened before. Hey, Mads. So, now that everyone's in chat, um, HCSC will get you in. Make sure you type something else. We'll start that timer now. Also, Swear Jar has been changed. It will now target everyone randomly for one tribute. For the cause. Motherfucking sucking cold fuck. Jesus Christ. So Diablo lost one there. No, that was Dustin. <laughs> so we have the Dirty One Ks and Honey Badger, and now Stanley in the Hardcore Stall Star giveaway. <laughs> no, you only say the P word. 20 seconds left to get in. Only four people in there. Uh, the tributes have not been raffled off yet. That number should still be up there in the corner at like 20 or something. It is 21. Top Upper left corner will give you the, the number. 10 seconds. We find it the last time. The last one to get into Hardcore Staltar tonight. The dirty one gets in. Defending... Mixer Chat Championship gets in to Hardcore Staltar. So let's get him in this match. And he's in a couple matches tonight. We'll go to that one. And then Kay's defending. So how's everybody doing? Hopefully everyone's had a good day. Um, one thing you will notice, well, no, I'll tell you about that one when it gets to be the correct time. Uh, there's a new command in uh, chat for wrestling, but it's not the right time to be talking about it yet, so we'll talk about that in a few minutes. Hardcore. Look at K's, there's two belts. Only one of them up for grabs tonight. I mean, they'd have to break in here and do that, Mork. Yeah, I'm, I, I hear you, man. I've had a very trying two days of work where it's just been a lot of forehead slapping of other people all right so we're ready to go here let's fire this show off oh uh, i can't drink and stream this because it gets really hard to talk fast and drink alcohol to <laughs> turn into <laughs> that would get mumbly yes indeed come on first paradox comes back in to start the tag team cycle back up after pay-per-view against the alcohol Hooligans. we have a call out from the dirty one against eddie hardcore Staltar, and some other stuff tonight back to the normal logo for thursday night thunder Kilt logo has been retired for now. <laughs> Let me get this hardcore match set up real quick. In the bet pool. Here we go. Tornado tag rolling at you for match number one. Save that and bet number one is about to be open for one minute and 30 seconds. Been 10 max 250. Paradox on the left. Alka Hooligans on your right. Starts right now.
tribute output has been increased. Believe it or not, I've been watching the economy and I see people need a little bit of a kick to get to where they want to be, so has been increased. I'm always said, bet on the greasiest man in the arena. Almost double. That said, those of you that don't know, people who are active in the last 60 minutes get more tributes every 10 minutes. People who are regulars get more tributes, and then subscribers uh, through Patreon. As a little extra thank you, they get an extra bonus as well. Here we go, match number one, rolling at ya. Yeah, and the mods. Mods get a bonus too. That's how I pay them. But here they are. Long time since we've seen them in the ring, but they make a return to BOCW. Paradox is Lyndon SG and Jamal. Betting closed. The Alka Hooligans bet favorites. Yep, pretty much. Oh, by the way, uh, for the moderators, you will notice way less pink names, much more blue names. Um, if you don't have an avatar at this point, probably want to get one on Mixer because everyone's a blueberry again. Pro uh, Summer Pro two months has expired universally. So you will stand out less to me visually if you don't have an avatar. Money man, Will. What's up, broski? Yeah. I'm moderator in so many chats now, it's kind of like, why do I have it? I mean, I've submit tickets and it doesn't really go too far being pro. But here they are. Matt and Chris, the Alcoholigans. Kesselmania was the apex point for the Alcoholigans, and they have fallen down the ranks since then. Matt losing the Intercontinental Championship. Chris and Matt losing tag team, and they really haven't recovered. Cool. Yeah, I know he was an example of someone who was in here for forever and didn't have a, an avatar. I'll make avatars for people, too. If someone wants one, just give me an idea. I, I dink around in Photoshop all the time. Also, coming up later tonight, an eight-man battle royale to see who is the number one intercontinental contender to take on Squirrel on Sunday. Your avatar can never change, Dr. Death. Ever. Alcohol hooligans in the ring, the bet favorites. If you already have one, will you have to change it? No. Okay, get going with Tornado Tag. Chris finds Lyndon and flips him over, slamming him down. Jamal with the short pull back on Matt brings him back down to the mat. Lyndon against the ropes as Chris comes in with the uppercut. That one lands, sends Lyndon flying back toward the corner a little bit. Of Chris, another big uppercut. And Lyndon in trouble. Let me make my preview window a little bit bigger. There we go. Now Chris goes up on the second dude? rope. What's up, Dustin? Chris slamming in to Lyndon again. And Lyndon down as Chris goes up to the top turnbuckle. Jamal with the leg of Matt spinning and throwing him back down to the canvas. Chris waits. J uh, Lyndon up. Chris leg wraps around Lyndon's neck. Goes for the pin early. Jamal needs to get in there. Second. No. Lyndon kicks Jesus out on Christ. his own. Matt still down at the hands of Jamal, who swings and misses wildly one, two, three, four, five times, and now kicks, and I think he might have hit his tag team partner there. Jamal so amped, he doesn't care who he hits. Now he's just moonwalking back into the corner, completely derped out. Jamal finally finds Chris, saves Lyndon, puts Chris down on the canvas, but Matt rolls in and breaks up Jamal, but Jamal goes right back to work on Chris, punches no, grabs Chris by the head. Matt just falls down on Lyndon for some sort of pin, and Lyndon again quickly kicking out of it. Jamal right back to work on Chris as Matt punches away at Lyndon near side. Chris lifted up, slammed down as Matt plants Lyndon back down to the canvas. 
Those of you that missed it, Swear Jar now randomly selects one person to pull a tribute from. Matt punching away at Linden. Linden's face cut. Matt punched open the face of Linden SG. Linden bleeding, and Matt walks away, takes a walk around the block, and comes back as Chris picks up and slams down Jamal. Now Matt up on the second rope, jumps. That one splashes down and lands in the midsection of Linden. Jamal down as Chris tells him to get up. Matt goes right back to work on Linden, twisting him backwards and bringing Linden back down. Chris with another corkscrew. That one misses as Jamal sidesteps, and he just watches as Chris comes in, but Jamal with a nice reversal. Rolls over the arm, now picks Chris up, slams him back down to the near corner. Matt in control of Linden, going for the pin. Jamal sees it, misses with the breakup attempt, and Linden able to kick hey, out I again. Can, as I can be JV. Chris grabs his back, trying to get up. Now Jamal goes after Matt. Middle of the ring, spinning Matt, letting him go face first down on the BOCW logo. Chris comes running across the ring, grabs Jamal, and slams him down face first. Comes in with an elbow for good measure, and Chris in control with everyone else down on the canvas. Matt looking for the ropes. Linden trying to get up as well. Jamal brought back to his knees. Chris starts punching away at the pride of Indianapolis. Matt across the ring finds J Linden slamming him down. Jamal put down by Chris. And now Linden goes outside the ring. And Jamal in trouble with both Alka Hooligans in there. But Jamal comes back with a counter punch now. The four onto the face of Chris as Matt goes outside looking for Linden. Linden's there picking up Matt as Chris is slammed down by Jamal in the ring. Matt thrown in a very uncomfortable position over the edge of the barricade. He falls down to the floor outside the ring. Chris with a counter Throws Jamal down with a good arm twist. Comes in with a kick for good measure. Matt still down to the hands of Linden SG outside the ring. Chris drops the elbow into the back of Jamal near side. Linden brought back to his feet by Matt, and he throws Linden back into the ring. Now Chris puts Jamal back to his feet. What's up, Buzz? Twists Jamal. Slams him down to the canvas. The alcoholigans in control. Linden picked up. But Linden's going to get out of that one, squirming free. Now picks up Matt, puts him down on his back. Chris comes back with a counter on Jamal, slapping the side of his head. And now Chris picks up Jamal on the side as Matt's brought back to his feet by Linden SG. Matt thrown in the corner as Chris again slams Jamal down. Linden setting up Matt. Chris waits. Jamal trying to get back to his feet. Linden setting up Matt for the superplex. Far side corner as Chris... Grabs Jamal from behind, picks him up again, and plants him back down on the canvas. And Chris goes for the pin. Linden too wrapped up in what he's doing. Is Matt going to counter him? And on the three count, the Alka Hooligans walk away winners. That's the one problem with a long setup move in tag team. Linden could not get free to save his partner. And the Alka Hooligans walk away winners. Kays, Mr. Holly the Dirty One, Stanley and Mad take your tributes. Yeah, one button press and I'll be gone though. Ask around. Things ain't cheap in that store. The alcohol can celebrate a win. They've needed one. They haven't had a tag team win in a while. <laughs> Follow you when you change your name back. Um, I saw a post, Stanley, and the one thing, one of the two things that I that was like I wanted isn't there. A guest ref, and it's like, well, so never mind that. I'm in no hurry to go to 2K19 now. Ronan in the house. Move on to match number two. Eddie the Head taking on the Dirty One. Betting opens at 10, max 250 for 90 seconds starts right now. We'll see if Eddie loses two in a row. The Dirty One's up there in power rankings. How you doing, Ronan? Yeah, I bet. I, I'm not pissed. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not in a big hurry to spend money on the game because this serves our purposes and the servers will be up until, you know, end of next year. So I'm not in a rush. I'm not definitely not in a rush to spend all that money. Have hey, other games I'd rather play this Christmas? Yeah, servers stop May, May of 19. So, I mean, I could get 2K19 on sale over Christmas with all of its DLC crap. I'm probably like 40 or 30. 
and then roll in the rebuilding BOCW in there if we choose to. We go match number two. Bets evenly split, but the big money on Eddie the Head. Assassin. Tom in the house. What's up? Thanks for stopping in, my friend. How are you doing tonight or tomorrow morning? How's tomorrow morning, Tom? Tell us what the lottery numbers are. Here he is, the Mixer Chat champion. Winning it at Bash of the Beast. We'll defend it for the first time tonight, but not in this match. This is a call-out match. The dirty, the dirty one spending 2,000 tributes for a shot at Eddie. Betting closed. Split even down the middle at four piece, but Eddie with huge money on him. Someone uh, shout out Attack on Geek, please. You don't. It, awesome. API error, so it's not going to populate up on the screen, but Attack on Geek. Yeah, two. No, that's why, because there's three T's in there. It's, it's Attack on Geek. Try one more time. There we go. Attack on Geek. That right there is that legend Tom and his partner D. They are partnered mixture streamers. Give them a follow, especially if you need early morning mixture fun. But coming into the ring, it's Eddie the Head with only one name on the shirt now. It's Dustin. Eddie wants a piece of Dustin like no one's business. But if the dirty one loses this match, his name will go on the back of the shirt. That black scar looked infected. Mindy, what's up? Eddie looking for a rebound. Has not been performing well lately. Been beaten by Skinja. Who did he lose to on Sunday? Mork. I mean, he lost to Mork. Mindy will also be defending Mixer Chat Championship tonight in the main event. We are several matches away from that one. This one, match number two. The dirty one, Mr. Hali. Calling out Eddie. Can he get the job done? Ding, ding, here we go. And Mr. Holly gets to Eddie quickly with the uppercut in the middle of the ring. Not a good start for Eddie, who needs to get back on a winning streak. And Eddie quick with the reversal, throwing the dirty one down to the canvas now, getting behind him, locking him up, putting him... Oh, that had, that was a, just a weird kind of face breaker from Eddie, who then sets up the elbow, comes in, stomps on it, and Eddie taking the momentum early. Mr. Holly, the dirty one back. Intent, Rocky, thank you for the host. How was your stream? Thank you for hanging out and being here. Eddie off the ropes, comes in, smashes the dirty one, and Eddie looks like he got the right methamphetamines before the match. Up in the air, knee to the face, and Eddie says, get up. The dirty one's stunned, trying to get back to his feet. He's on the ropes. Eddie rolls right in with the clothesline and sends him outside the ring. Strange things are afoot. Eddie, right back to work on the dirty one. Picks him up outside. Punches. And the dirty one really doesn't know what hit. Oh, comes back with a counter on Eddie. Now an overcut drops Eddie the head outside. I spoke too soon. And now a kick. And Eddie's stunned by the LCD board. The dirty one taking control. Wesley Wolf with the host. Thank you very much, sir. You're going to get your shot to get back at Squirrel tonight. Match number six. Love, peace, and chicken grease. Eddie and the dirty one. The dirty one taking control of the match back from Eddie. Eddie had it for a moment. Now the dirty one in control. Punching Eddie behind the head. Taking him over toward the left side ring post. But Eddie, that was too long of a walk for him. Comes back with a counter as the elbow to the midsection. Puts Mr. Holly back against the barricade wall. But Mr. Holly quick grabs Eddie. Throws him all the way down the side of the ring. He runs and Eddie gets out underneath that quick. And back and forth they go. Pretty evenly matched. Eddie grabbed on a counter. The dirty one throws him back in the ring. Eddie, though, quickly getting back to his feet, but not quick. Yeah, it is quick enough. Comes back with an elbow. Comes with a punch. And the dirty one says, I don't think so. Counter punches that one. Comes in, and Eddie ducks it. Back and forth they go. Counter punching by the left side corner. And now Eddie, with the face breaker, sweeps out his own legs and plants his dome underneath Mr. Holly's jaw. Taking him right back to his feet. Eddie goes right back to the same move, saying, I didn't get enough teeth the first time. And the dirty one brought back to his feet by Eddie, who's again taking momentum back in the match. Grabs him, throws the dirty one near side corner, and Eddie follows up. Up on the top turn, Mickle goes the dirty one, and Eddie climbs up there with him. Just grabbing him by one arm and slamming him down to the BOCW logo, and Eddie's in control. 
The Dirty One back to his feet, stunned, and Eddie going right back to work. Knees and kicks. Here comes the running. Nasty knee to the face. Oh, and that one cut the Dirty One open, and here comes a penitent from Eddie. On a two count, the Dirty One bloody on the canvas, kicks out and stays alive. But Eddie in control now, waits for him to get back to his feet. A big spin kick misses. The dirty one didn't get a move in though. And Eddie's right back to work, punching him in the corner, now picking him up. And Eddie lets fly and slams him down to the canvas. Yep. One of us for sure. He's been one Kays has been one of us for a long, long time. But the dirty one comes back on Eddie with a leg sweep. He's just been quiet. Now the dirty one punching away at Eddie. But Eddie says, I don't think so. Comes back, plants the leg. Up in the air, that one missed somehow on a derp. And the Dirty One takes advantage, slamming Eddie down. Now Eddie lifted up in the air. And Eddie slammed down on his back, but the Dirty One who takes control of the match. Booms. Case. Now Eddie slammed down. The Dirty One locking him up. Eddie trying to get out. There's a weird looking leg lock around his head. I'm still charging you an arm and a leg. ZLH, the heavyweight champion in the house. Eddie not going to be submitted that way. Gets up. Thank you for the host as well, my friend. And now Eddie kicks down DLH, who's still bleeding. Eddie takes him in the DLH, because you are in. You just came in chat. That's why the dirty one. Now Eddie goes to the pin on the dirty one. And on the two count, almost a three count, the dirty one gets out of it again. And Eddie in control, chopping down on the shoulder with his forearms. My lord, how gets out? <laughs> The Dirty One with a counter comes back, slams into the shoulder of Eddie, puts him down on the canvas. T, what's up? Think of the host. And the Dirty One celebrating in the ring. Eddie a little stunned, but not stunned enough. And the Dirty One rolls in with a kick. Puts him right back down. Eddie was about to get up, still kicking away, and Eddie can't get back to his feet as the Dirty One waits. Eddie trying to get up. The Dirty One waiting for him to get up. Grabs him quickly again and puts him back into submission. <laughs> no one's ever made Eddie submit. Until right now, the dirty one makes Eddie tap out. Let me know in Discord what tier two ability you would like, dirty one. Yeah, it's time to change the steroids. Came out strong, even got him cut, couldn't win it. Eddie on a losing streak. Gonna have to fix that. The fucking sucking cold Jesus Christ. Oops. Going into match number three, the Hardcore Stall Star Championship on the line. Eddie just out of it outside the ring. Accidental money. <laughs> Going into match number three. Dustin, um, you weren't here when I asked earlier. You're doing after party, right? Oh yeah, DJ Wu's got something to say. much tea just cooking a fud yeah I got I got pizzas left I got to eat after the show and you know gotta get back to God of War and stuff I crack keep playing <laughs> baby Oh, uh, it's awesome, Case. It's it's awesome. I, I picked out elements of the story. Simply, I do. So here's a funny story. My son uh, contacted me this morning to um, ask me for some help with AP Lit, and at the end of our conversation, 
I said, I love you, boy, on accident, just because I had been playing the game so much. Well, it's about trick fitting. Yep, AP lit. DJ Wu walking in the ring. What's he have to say? Tree fitty for everybody. You know what my problem is? My problem is that I don't take people to task often enough. I cut them too much slack. Well, no more. I need to address Adam Rage. And there he is, Adam Rage. This is FKFC in the ring. Listen to this crowd. The BOCW Universe is in prime form tonight. You guys know how much I love being out there, being able to perform in front of all you. Nothing makes that happier. So, makes me happier. So, partner, what do you want to talk about? Since you're usually a little slow on the uptake, I'm going to spell it out for you in two words. You suck. You've always sucked, and you always suck. And you're sucking me down with you, so it's time for you to go. Oh, boy! Adam Ray's not happy about the breakup of FKFC drops DJ Wu, and there's a match underway between the two of them. And let me get a bet going. I did not expect them to go at each other, but they have gone at each other. Place your bets. You have 30 seconds to do so. Starting now, as Adam Rage and DJ Wu have... Well, there still will be a winner at the end of it, Mork. DJ Wu planting Adam Rage's face down to the canvas... Worst case scenario, I can cancel the bet, but if you want to bet on a winner, this is the end of FKFC. Adam Rage has been absent from BOCW, and this is him going to the inactive roster. DJ Wu looking for a new tag team partner now in the BOCW universe. Goes in with a kick, and Adam Rage comes back with the blow to the knee. Now a kick to the midsection of DJ Wu. Adam Rage's last hurrah right now in BOCW. You're seeing it live. Now Rage whips DJ Wu off the right side ropes, run in, runs in with the knee. DJ Wu from the knees comes back with a punch to the midsection of Adam Rage. A kick misses, and Wu's there turning Adam Rage around, lifting him up, and slamming Adam Rage down to the canvas. Yeah, it says so in the uh, stream title, Junkyard. Adam Rage put up on the shoulder of DJ Wu. And dropped off the top of the rope. And now Wu runs in with the clothesline on Adam Rage. And the ref, who's now in the ring, backs him off. Won't let DJ Wu get any closer to him. And DJ Wu throws the ref out of the way. All right, so there was no winner. Mork was right. But just in case there would have been. So we will cancel that. Give everyone their tributes back. And move on to the next match. That is the end of FKFC. No more FKFC Tag Team and BOCW. Yeah, I agree. Next match coming your way. Actually, you know what? Been rolling for about 40 minutes. I need to go to the bathroom, so we'll be right back. Um, take five, get a break, walk around, get a drink, and we'll be right back at you in a few minutes. Send this one to journey elsewhere, for we have need of sterner stock. Send this one to journey elsewhere. For we have need of sterner stock.
we're back. We have Hell in a Cell for Hardcore Stallstar coming up next. Here we go. From left to right, it is the Dirty One, Mr. Ali, Mork, the People's Panda, Dr. Death, Lord High Fixer, the Defending Champion, Kays, and the King of Hardcore, Jamal. You have... Where's that match? There we are. Belt on the line. Max bet goes to 500. You have 90 seconds. Start right now. Place your bets. And thank you for that little bit of a break, which I needed. I had too much tea. Getting everything set up earlier tonight. Hayes don't wait. Bets on himself. Kays, in his debut night, went to number four in power ranking. Yep. Two belts. That'll happen. Nope. Two belts will do that. 30 seconds left in your bet pool. Kays, one. Doctor, death, two. Fixture, three. Mork, four. Jamal, five. And the dirty one, number six. Yeah, don't get used to it, Case. <laughs> it's hard to stay. I mean, tag team's a good way to stay up there. Unified's a good way to stay up there. But heavyweight, intercontinental, and women's champion always are number one, two, and three. <laughs> Mork with some chances tonight, though. Mork's in that intercontinental num uh, contender match tonight. Hunter, what's up? Betting closed. The dirty one, the heavy favorite, Victor with two bets. No one else. This is my, my biggest troll. With more than one. We roll in a match number three, the Hardcore Stalls, our championship on the line. Here comes the people's panda. Sucking cold Jesus Christ. Oh, Mads makes a donation to the swear jar. It's about time, really. I don't know. Sometimes Dustin confounds me, Mork. The People's Panda, built by Permacorp, gets into the ring. By the way, if you'd like a Permacorp coffee mug, check out Permanoob's Stream Jar merch store. There's one in there now. Dr. Death in the ring, and here comes the in, the unified champion, Lord High Fixer. Killer Blake, thank you for the follow. We're going to be turns in that thunder. Unified Champion makes his way down to Hell in a Cell for a chance at the Hardcore Staltar Championship. My lord, go yourself. Everyone's saying that, Mork. Welcome back, Stanley. Illustrious Champion returns. Welcome home. He poses for winners. <laughs> We're back, dirty one. Our illustrious champion returns. Welcome home. Lord I fix are becoming unified champion at Bash of the Beast. We'll have to defend it at Troll Mageddon this winter. That belt is until then. 
These nuts, what's up? Welcome to BSCW. Fixer in the ring. Dr. Death already down the ramp, and here comes Mork. These nuts, thank you for the follow. And again, welcome in. Mork in three matches tonight. This is his first appearance. Can Mork get in and get himself a belt? He's already in pretty strong position in power rankings. What, D's Nuts? I can say D's Nuts without the background if you want, Kaden, just send it to you. Facebook Jail. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to BSCW Thursday Night Thunder. Match number three. Technically number three. And for the host as well. Yep, Eddie struck himself. He's confused right now. He's been beaten twice in a row. This skirmish Doesn't may know be what's lost, going on. But the battle may yet be won. Probably needs fed. Are we featured? I don't know. That'd be interesting because we were featured Monday. Nope. You can use that command. Anyone, any uh, mod, I believe, can use that command to find out if we're featured. I think it's mods and above. Um, actually, it's regulars. Regular and above can use that command. Featured, it'll whisper you. Who are all the fighters? If someone can give Facebook jail the BOCW command and explain it. Thank you very much. Mork. To put it succinctly, we are. Everyone you see in chat, Facebook Jail has characters created. This EFA has been running since March 3rd. We are a community that gets together twice a week to build a story and history. The Big Top Outlaws and Big Top Outlaws Championship Wrestling, which is what BOCW stands for. More in the ring. But here he is, the hardcore Staltar champion. Can he become the rare person to defend the hardcore belt? K's on his way to the ring. Yeah, sometimes we cuddle in Discord. I like it. Comes the guy that ate the lucky charge leprechaun. <laughs> Get in my belly. <laughs> Seamus McFoley. I think it would just be MC Foley. Seamus McFoley. That'd be better. Of course he does. Hermanoob also has a match tonight. Hermanoob automatically in the Intercontinental Contenders match by virtue of winning the NXT Championship on Monday night. I oh, know where he's firm. We're just going to give you crap because that's what we do. You give us crap, we give you crap. Take care, kiddos. That belt on the line in this match. The Hardcore Staltar Championship. McFully. <laughs> But he's clean as a whistle, Killer Blake. Says so right on his pants. Kay's in the ring to defend it. And here comes the Mixer Chat champion. A lot of belt holders in this match. The Dirty One will defend that belt later on tonight, but right now he's looking to take Hardcore away from Kays. Just walking out of a win against Eddie the Head. The Dirty One setting himself up for a big night if he can stay on the run here. As the Dirty One, Mr. Holly pushes himself into the ring awkwardly. Go back and have a look at those bets one more time. The Dirty One, that man right there. The heavy bet favorite with four bets placed. Fixer with two. Everyone else with one bet on them. Is that a Christmas sweater? <laughs> but 
Never, ever, ever count this man out in a hardcore match. Jamal has won the hardcore stall tart championship more than any other wrestler in BOCW. He's walking in to try to take it home one more time. Once Jamal gets down that ramp, they will lower that cage. Yep. Jamal kicks ass fully fueled by his desire to impress Peace Rebellion. That sign, the People's Champion, that one's for Dr. Death. Jamal up on the ropes as we get ready to go. Match number three of seven about to get underway and it gets off quickly. Fixer goes right to work on the dirty one. Far side ropes. Kay sweeps the legs out from East Jamal and drops in the dirty one. Goes over the ropes. The hands of Lord Eye Fixer as Dr. Death is dropped by Mork who goes running off the far side ropes. Comes back in. Jumps and lands in the middle of the People's Panda. Jamal picked up by Kay's. The dirty one comes back with a counter on Fixer and now runs him down the length of the ring. Dr. Death punches Mork back in the near side corner. Jamal elbowed the face from the champion Kay's. The dirty one backed off by Fixer. Fixer back in the ring. Kay's kicks away at Jamal. The dirty one not done with Fixer as they walk backwards in unison. And the Dirty One drops Fixer down, kicking away the former heavyweight champion, losing that belt to Dirty Little Hamster on Monday night. The Dirty One being dirty, taking the cover off the top turnbuckle, left side, far corner. Fixer still down. Jamal dropped off the ropes by Kays, and the People's Panda again kicked in the face by Mort. Fixer pulled up and slammed down by the Dirty One as Jamal was brought back to his feet by Kays. Dr. Death lifted up in the air by Morgan, slammed down. Now Jamal comes back, kicking away the champion, kicking a midsection to Kays. Another one from Jamal as the Dirty Ones drop by Fixer. Another kick from Jamal to Kays. Kays just a beanbag right now. Jamal runs with another kick, and the, K the champion Kays goes down. The Dirty One has Fixer down, and Jamal runs in trying to save him, punching away the Dirty One, missing twice. Finally breaking that up, giving Fixer a break. And Fixer and Jamal ran in on the Dirty One. I think they ran into each other, and they both fall down. But Fixer comes back with a counter on the Dirty One. And now a boot drops him as Dr. Death starts to take the momentum away from Mork, putting him down the canvas. Case gets up near side apron. Fixer picks up, locks up the Dirty One, throws him into the near far side corner, and he falls off the turnbuckle. He uncovered for himself. That one backfired. Case throws the People's Panda over the top rope. And now Case, the hardcore champion, goes outside looking for more of the Panda Bear. Jamal and Fixer pairing off now. Fixer locked up by Jamal, and a face breaker comes in and sends Fixer down to the canvas. More caught off guard by the Dirty One as Kays picks up Dr. Death and puts his face down on the floor. Jamal with the Dirty One by the back of his hair, throws him down as Mork breaks that up and hits both of them. Fixer down outside the ring of the hands of Jamal and Al. The Dirty One whipped far side corner by Mork. Mork and Jamal going after his case. It's a staircase at the hands of Dr. Death. Jamal. Mork and the Dirty One can't figure out who wants to fight who more as Fixer gets back in the ring and Dr. Death has Kays by his hair, throws him back toward the Mixer logo. Now they both get back in the ring as Jamal is face planted off the top turnbuckle by the Dirty One. Fixer rolls in and breaks that up. Dr. Death puts Kays back down. Now Fixer with the kick locks up and tries to pin the Dirty One. And on the two count, the Dirty One gets out. Mork's nowhere to be seen, far side edge of the apron. Dr. Death rolls in and puts his butt cheeks down on Kays. Jamal back to his feet. Your corporate overlord has spoken. <laughs> Mork jumps up, starts punching away at Lord High Fixer. Now that he's down, Kays slammed down again by the People's Panthers. Jamal, think going up on the second rope, looking for more of the dirty one. Mork backs off, giving Fixer a chance to recover, and then leaves him alone, going after Dr. Death. They get locked up, and Dr. Death counters. Jamal runs in, and I think that one landed on Kays. Fixer off the ropes, and now back in the action as Jamal slams down Dirty One. Mork and Dr. Death still going at each other as Fixer's thrown over the ropes again by Jamal. Jamal punches, but Fixer counter punches and gets back in the ring as the Dirty One tries to get up, and Dr. Death reverses that one nicely on Kays. Kays grabs and misses. Fixer slams down Jamal, and now Kays comes with a punch and no says Dr. Death comes back with a counter punch of his own. Jamal outside the ring, the Dirty One in the hands of Lord High Fixer being taken near side ropes as Mork gets back to his feet. 
Now Mork rolls in and kicks away at Dr. Death. The People's Panda being doubled up. And look at this. Kays and Mork team up on Dr. Death and put him down. Now Fixer sent to the far side corner by the Dirty One. Mork with a chance to pin Kays and take the belt. And on the two count, Kays kicking out. The Dirty One getting the better of Fixer, but no, Fixer gets out underneath that kick. Has the Dirty One by it. No, he's going to get he's out of that one. Jamal trying to save him, but no, the headbutt comes in. The Dirty One puts Fixer down. Jamal kicks away Lord Eye Fixer. Kays reverses Mork, middle of the ring. Now the Dirty One picks up, picks up Fixer, but Jamal gets there first, has Fixer on the shoulders, and the Dirty One says, that was mine. Punches Jamal. Fixer falls down. Mork dropped by Kays, and Kays quickly, derpily put down by Dr. Death. Fixer locked up by the Dirty One. The same hold that got Eddie into the tap out earlier, and no one's breaking that up. Fixer gets out just as Jamal saw it. K is getting set up for the skadoosh butt slam by Dr. Death. Fixer back to his feet. Jamal punching away at Morgan. Fixer's cut. The Dirty One has cut open Lord Eye Fixer. The skadoosh butt slam lands straight down on K's. Fixer bleeding rolls outside the ring. Mork slams down Jamal as Dr. Death waits for K's to get back to his feet. And now K's crossed up underneath the chin. The People's Panda has him locked up, but the Dirty One comes in, breaks it up. Mork picks up Jamal, slamming him down. The Dirty One's thrown over the ropes by Dr. Death. Dr. Death grabs him by his head through the ropes, turning him upside down through the ropes. Look at this from the People's Panda. Throws the Dirty One down. He rolls outside to go talk to Kays. Mork jumps up, puts Jamal down. His fixture bleeding, gets back in the ring. Dr. Death and Mork. Mork grabs, misses. Dr. Death goes in, gets the better of that one, has Mork, throws him over the ropes. There's a pile of people on the left-hand side. Now it's Fixer. Waits for Jamal to get back to his feet, and Dr. Death can't find any room to walk outside. He just goes back in the ring. Now Fixer has Jamal in his clutches, setting up the jackhammer. And Jamal's going to get out of that. Jamal, look at that reversal. Now it's Fixer and puts his bloody face down in the canvases. Where the hell's K's going? He's taking a walk. The Dirty One has the people's panda out by the cage wall. Throws him down near side left corner as Mork is picked up by Kays. Kays goes back in the ring. Mork follows him up. Jamal trying to lock up Fixer. And Fixer throws Jamal off. And now all six wrestlers back in the ring and standing up. And this one's nowhere near over. The People's Panda with a face breaker on Jamal. Mork kicking away at Kays in the corner. But Kays comes back with a counter. Now Fixer punches and kicks away. The dirty one left side ropes. Jamal near side corner. Oh, that's a cut. Mork's cut. Kays cut Mork. Second Fixer punches the dirty one back Jesus into the corner. Christ. Dr. Death in love with the Skadoosh butt slam tonight. Is setting one up for Jamal. And it lands perfectly timed. The Dirty One grabbed by Fixer. Kays, the champion, slammed down by Mork. He needs another break. The Dirty One now at the mercy of Fixer. But look at that. Dr. Death rolled in on Jamal and got the three count. And Dr. Death takes the belt away from Kays. Dr. Death. It's always hard to see in a cage match like that because there is no ref. Dr. Death, your winner, only one bet placed. I'm going to bet the 10 tribute bet that Dr. Death placed on himself. Watch this. Boom. 10 tributes just became 1,495. I am the ma Yeah, he is the master of the 10 tribute bet. He makes those things pay. Dr. Death, the belt winner, the bet winner, is your new Hardcore Staltar champion. Powered by Permacorp. Kays loses one of his two belts. The other one will be defended on Sunday. As we roll into the next match. It's weird. Not say that. Well, let's do this. Odd Dustin on the left. It's Toofy on the right. Extreme Rules one-on-one -on -one match. You have 90 seconds. Your max bet is 250. Place your bets starting right now. Consider yourself booed. Yeah, Eddie will get him. Welcome Can't swear if you're new. When you roll in and the first thing you do is drop an F-bomb, everyone's not going to react to that well. Even though we swear all the time, Squirrel in the house, Squirrel going to find out who he's going to face on Sunday night later on tonight. 
Right now, Dustin, the heavy, heavy, heavy bet favorite. And here we go, match number four. After this one, we have the Mixer Chat Championship on the men's side. We will find out who that number one intercontinental contender is, and then we will set a women's Mixer Chat Championship in the main event. Yep, you and Tufi are going to hung it out. Here he is, the leader of the Mosh Potatoes, Odd Dustin, and our host for the BSCW After Party after the show tonight. Don't go anywhere. Dustin will be running Jackbox games for us until midnight or so Eastern time. We always do on Thursday night, so if you're going to stay up late, hang out with Dustin and the rest of the Outlaws and everyone else in the Mosh Pit. Diablo, what's up? Diablo, where's your wrestler at, man? We just, uh, we, we trimmed the roster by one tonight. You're gonna choke a toofy. Bet's final. Odd Dustin still heavy bet favorite at eight bets placed. Toofy with four. Dustin with 1,200 tributes on him. Toofy with only 400. Oh, Stanley, um, I don't know if you saw or if you're in chat. Give me a wave if you hear this. Still need to know what you want for your ability that you bought. Peace Rebellion in the house. But here he is, the leader and only member of the Lewd World Order. It's Toofy. <laughs> and his magical Roomba. Perm's excited about two feet. Technician got it. That's what most people have been taking. R written down, it will be in place by Sunday. Spinx. He is glorious. That is so true. It's Toofy on his way down in the ring to face off Dustin. Maybe the mesh team can pick up DJ Wu. Yeah, I haven't seen Toofy in a minute either. I actually hung out in history about a week ago. Um, but I give Toofy. A lot of leeway um, he's a vet and I know some of the stuff there so like I said it's USCW I kind of play the inactive part by ear knowing the specifics of the community Toofy um, Toofy hasn't had an appearance in a while he needs one so he is in tonight Stanley message him in discord and start the conversation if you guys want an elude world order that's where it starts. Only dropped two frames. Mixer is being derpy for a month, quite honestly. But my uh, my bit rate's right on the line. I mean, when I played God of War the other night, it only gave me 30 minutes of a three-hour VOD, so that's definitely intake problems. But Dustin and Toofy pair off. Dustin gets to Toofy first, lifts him up, slams him down, dead center of the ring. Now Dustin rolls in, drops down on the knee of Toofy, who's in trouble a little early. Dustin goes right to work, being as dirty as he is, chokes Toofy down on the canvas, and Toofy hasn't landed a blow yet. Dustin. Takes him back to his feet, picks up Toofy again, slams him right back down on the BOCW logo, and Dustin control the match. Dustin with the backbreaker. I am uh, going to the DC data center as well, if that matters, anybody. Toofy thrown off the far side roast by Dustin. Dustin dominating the match to start. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 
Dustin interrupted as Eddie the Head is pissed off and is on his way to the match. Look at this! Toofy takes advantage as Eddie interrupts Dustin! And Dustin gets destroyed. And look at the terms of his arms. He's stuck to two feet. And he came in and distracted Dustin. And two feet no moves him. And wins the match. <laughs> Said I'm taking these arms home with me. Two for your winner. And Dustin not pleased about what just happened in the ring. <laughs> Dustin was dominating that match! <laughs> wow! I wouldn't be pleased losing my arms after a match. Toofy the winner of match number four. Okay, three matches left to go. Big deals for all of them. This is the Mixer Chat Championship being defended by the Dirty One. From left to right, it's Mork. Banky Intent Rocket 9, the heavyweight champion, Dirty Little Hamster, the Dirty One, and Draven. Belt on the line. Max Tribute bet goes to 500. You have 90 seconds starting right now. You can be pissed at Toofy and go after Toofy, Dustin. Call out Eddie and get off the list. There's a line for Eddie right now, though. That was me, Jamal. I'll be okay. Got 45 yeah. seconds left to place yeah. your bet. Rocket 1, DLH 2, Spanky 3, Draven 4, Mork 5, and the Dirty 1 and Defending Champion dirty. number 6. Psycho and Jet are my friends. DLH betting on himself. They go to the Elim Chamber. This was the choice of the champion. Yep. They don't, though. Be a whole different world if we have that many titles. Titles will spread out if we ever get the women's division that big, which I would love to do. We will start contesting a lot more belts, like normal belts, on Thursdays, and we spread Mixer Chat Championship out. No. That would take way too long. No whisper. Uh, three. To the other whisper. This one and two more. But there are all six wrestlers or more, so it will take a while. King Gara, welcome back. As Intent Rocket heads down to the Corral of Calamity. Looking to take away the Mixture Chat Championship from the Dirty One. You got some time, Dustin, on the, uh, the setup. This one, and then we have an eight-man Royal Rumble, and then we have a six-woman ladder match. So there's time in there. Easy 30, 40 minutes. Plus, Thursday nights is usually when Peace Rebellion asks to see the power rankings, so we can definitely do that. And I have some stuff to explain. I can't wait to put pants on. And that's some stuff to explain with Mixer Chat Championship at the end of the show as well. You got stuff. You got times. Yuck ladders. Yep. Women haven't been on the ladders um, in two weeks. And we did mended ladder on uh, Monday night. So it is the women's turn. Well, Lord. Got it. Here he is, Spanky, in the ring, getting into, I believe it's Spanky's first Mixer Chat Championship match since joining BOCW on his way down. Spanky is Stanley in chat. <laughs> I like this guy, because it's you. 
Yep. Also, Draven's first Mixer Chat Championship because it's the first time we've done it since pay per view. Yep. This guy is overrated. He looks looks like Spanky to me. Sparky. Sparky was a little bit beefier. Sparks uh, wrestler. Banky in. There it is. The heavyweight championship belt around the waist of Dirty Little Hamster as he walks in trying to take home another belt. But DLH is your new heavyweight champion. He will hold that belt for at least a month. No rivalry started at the end of that. That was a really good title match. And I walked away from it feeling perfectly okay with how that went. That was anyone's match. That belt, though, not on the line here. That is DLH's belt to keep until at least October. But for those of you who are unfamiliar with how the Corral of Calamity works, it is the Elimination Chamber. We'll see I don't care what four. you say, Fixer. I'm still charging you an arm and a leg for car washes, man. There are four pods. The first four wrestlers will go into those four pods containment cells, and they will not start the match. The last two wrestlers down the ramp will start, and it is the last man standing. They can be pinned. They can be submitted out of the match. Motherfucking <laughs> sucking <laughs> coal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Draven. In his first ever Mixer Chat Championship match as well, on his way down the ramp, is the last wrestler to go into a containment cell, which means Mork. Actually, no, Rocket's already in there, right? Rocket, Spanky, DLH, Draven came down. So Mork and the Dirty One? Or is the Dirty One already down? I can't remember. Too busy yakking. I'm pretty sure it's Draven, DLH, Spanky, and Rocket. Draven with a V. Yep. So Mork and the defending champion will start in the ring. And here comes Mork. <laughs> you gotta wear the headdress and all the other nonsense. Mork pinned by Dr. Death. I believe it was no, no, it was Jamal pinned by Dr. Death. Mork, though, has been doing well enough lately. To stay in the teens and power rankings, which puts him in. He's a contender for any match he's in right now. Missy Emily, 2016. Thank you for the follow. He said the wrong things to Mindy. <laughs> Welcome to BOCW, Emily. This is match number five of our seven match card for the Mixer Chat Championship in the men's division. Mork will. Start the match against the defending champ, the dirty one who is you still going to come down the ramp. Loss and learn from it. That's some branding on Draven. I've never really noticed that. But here he is, the dirty one, Mr. Hully, back in his Christmas pants. Can he hold on to the belt? He won at Bash of the Beast. This is his first defense. Again, four wrestlers in containment cells will be released randomly on a timed interval. Mork and that man, the dirty one, will start the match in the ring for that belt. Cool. I'll work with you over the weekend, probably with some uh, questions and then some pictures, and we can go from there, Diablo. 
If I can get it done before Sunday, we'll get you in Sunday. If not, it'll be a week from today. But here we go. The dirty one starts halfway across the ring, and Mork rolls in, and the dirty one was just ready for it and slams Mork down. A little bit of a cheating head start for the dirty one. Mr. Hali now goes to work, kicking away at Mork. Mork down to his knees. Now put down on his butt, and the dirty one in control of Mork early. It's really hard to win this belt from start. Mork grabs the arm inbound, counters him, and throws the dirty one down. Kicks him onto his back, and Mork tries to assert himself in the match early. Mork picks the dirty one back up to one knee, chops away at him. The dirty one trying to get up, and Mork will not let it happen. Comes in with a big arm bar of the back. Chops the dirty one back down to the canvas, picking him right back up, though. Up in the air goes the champ. Mork slams him down, and Mork with the momentum to start this one off. But the dirty one, ready, comes back with a counter twist the arm and rolls it on Mork, slamming him down on the mat. Knees him in the chest, and now Mr. Ali, the dirty one, taking control, wanting to retain his title. Got a long road to go on. Sets up Mork for a bomb, but Mork says, I don't think so. On the shoulders, punches away at the hairy head of the dirty one. Throws him into the near side corner. Referee barely got out of the way. And man, it's counter for counter right now as the Dirty One punches at Mork on his way in the corner, now lifting him up onto the shoulders. Mork not going to counter this one, and he is powerbombed down to the mat. The Dirty One kicking away at Mork's knee. Mork stunned. And Mr. Hali, oh no, he's countered. Mork from his backside kicks him down to the canvas, and we're almost ready for a wrestler to come in. Mork takes the Dirty One middle of the ring, rolls in with an elbow. That one lands right in his throat. Mork. Kicking away. Rolls back in with another elbow. And the Dirty One in trouble in his title defense. Mork's had the better of the action here with 10 seconds until the next wrestler comes in. Who's it going to be? The Dirty One thrown off the left side ropes. And Mork rolls in with a lariat and throws him down. Mork still in command inside the ring. Throwing the Dirty One down to the mat. Punching away his face. And it's going to be intent. Rocket 9 on the way in. Rocket gets into the ring as the champ. The dirty one slammed down by Mork, and now Mork kicks away at Rocket. Rocket on the way in to try to get a piece of Mork, and Mork is ready. Rocket all up in the air and just put it right down on his head. Mork in control as the dirty one gets back to his feet. Mork punches away at Rocket. The dirty one saves Rocket, grabs Mork, throws him near side corner. But Mork with a counter comes right back. And Rocket and the Dirty One have been saving each other, but now Rocket face plants the Dirty One off the canvas, and Mork rolls in with a pin attempt, trying to end that championship run. And that's it. The Dirty One's championship days are over. Mork eliminates him with speed. And there will be a new Mixer Chat champion tonight. Rocket up on the turnbuckles, the hand of Mork. Mork means business in this match. Has Rocket up on the top rope. And the superplex lands. And Mork does not let go. Picks Rocket right back up. Slamming Rocket down to the canvas. And Mork in total control of the match. But Rocket rolls away from that kick. Grabs Mork and counter slams him down to the canvas. Got like a hair in my face. Driving me crazy. Like right there. Mork in trouble now as Rocket goes to work. Punches away at Mork. Mork in a little bit of trouble. Might have used his gas tank early. The dirty one gone. Now it's just Rocket and Mork in the ring. And now... My lord, go yourself. Not sure what you're talking about, T. But Rocket down. Mork misses with a punch. Rocket comes in with a punch. Mork grabs the arm and counters that. Who's the next wrestler in going to be? If you're talking about since you followed, thank you very much. Just don't, I don't have, didn't have the frame of reference to the com, uh, comment. Mork with the headbutt on the heavyweight champ, DLH, who's the next wrestler in. Now using the ropes as a springboard, punching DLH in the back, and he's down. And Mork continues to impress in the corral of calamity. But DLH with the counter puts Mork down right as Rocket was reaching for him. And now Rocket has Mork. And neither wrestler seems to be very happy with Mork right now. They both go over the corner, but Mork again with a counter comes back on the knee of Rocket, but Rocket again turns Mork around. False whip grabs Rock or Mork on the way back, and now Mork slammed down, and Rocket grabs DLH, sends him off the far side ropes. He comes back, kicked down, and Rocket control the ring. 
finally fight somebody else as follow as yeah. That's what I that's what I figured out eventually. DLH down, Rocket continues the onslaught. Look at this from Rocket no rolling for right into DLH and Mork's there Will to pick up the massacre? pieces, catching Rocket from behind and throwing him near side corner as DLH looks to recover. Rise up and join the fight. Rocket, oh, with the counter, and that cuts Mork. Mork's bleeding in the ring with a lot of wrestlers left to come out. DLH waits, and the Tombstone Power Driver lands. Rocket trying to get Mork out of there. Oh, and Mork on a 2.8 count gets away. And look at this. The hamster rolls in and just wrecks Rocket. Now Rocket down to the canvas. DLH off the far side ropes. Comes running back. Oh, <laughs> and just dead drops face first into Rocket. Rocket brought back to his feet by DLH as Mork stirs and tries to get up. And a, just a nasty headbutt. Nine seconds till the next wrestler comes in as Mork is picked up by DLH and he just derps over by Rocket. Back and back and the back and whip, whip. Someone we keep rewinding that tape and Mork finally rewinds it. Comes in running at the back of the knee of DLH and drops him as Rocket gets back up. Who's next in? One of the two BOC newcomers. It's going to be Draven coming into the ring. Remix! Well, I don't know, man. Mork's been solid in this match. DLH picking up Rocket off the ropes. Just drops him like trash in a dumpster in the middle of the ring. Draven climbs in. Mork runs away. Sees Rocket down. Is up on the top rope. Draven in the air at the hands of DLH as Rocket gets to his feet. Draven dropped by the heavyweight champion. Mork flies high and lands on Rocket. Rocket down in the ring. Draven grabbed up by DLH and slammed down and Mork just jumps on Rocket and punches away. And there's a cut and that's Rocket. Rocket's cut open and Mork immediately goes with a pin sensing blood in the water. And for some reason, DLH broke it up. Now Draven tries to eliminate the heavyweight champ, and DLH having none of that. Rocket thrown up and let loose and flies in the air, spinning over, slammed down, and again, more goes to the pin as Draven's picked up by Dirty Little Hamster. And 10 Rocket survives. Straight up and down is Draven, and he is dropped one more time by Dirty Little Hamster. Draven in trouble. Rocket trying to come back and counter two people bleeding. One's Mork, the other Rocket, and they go far side corner. Rocket grabbing Mork. Draven now trying to get the better of DLH, but that's not going to happen. An elbow counters that, and the hamster picks up Draven and slams him down again. The heavyweight champion means business. Mork picked up by Rocket straight up in the air as DLH runs over the punch. Mork counters Rocket. One punch sends Rocket down to the canvas as DLH picks up Draven again. Yeah, me and uh, DLH have a lot of similar, uh, the same moves. Ten seconds until Spanky gets in and Rocket's dropped again by Mork. Draven set in a bomb position by DLH is just slammed down. And here comes Spanky as Mork again just drops Rocket and punches away on an already bloody face. Spanky into the ring. Mork exhausted. Rocket down. Mork goes to the pin. And Spanky looks for something to do and Draven is sent over the ropes. And a two count. Rocket kicking out again. Spanky takes advantage, drops DLH, save, probably saving Draven, but Mork finds Spanky, says welcome to the match, grabs him, up in the air goes Spanky, and down he goes in the hands of Mork, who is, has been strong in the match. We can see he's starting to tire. Rocket looks for the ropes. Spanky punched again by Mork. DLH thrown down by Draven. Draven off the ropes. Boot stomps DLH. Now Draven goes to the pin on the hamster, and DLH having none of that. One count, and he's already back and kicked out of that. Spanky again grabbed by Mork, but no, says Spanky countering with the elbows on the side of Mork's head. Draven dropped by DLH as Rocket recovers and looks on. Spanky with a reversal, suplexes Mork down, and DLH is going to go right to work on Mork. Now Rocket sees Draven down, gets there before Spank. Mork up in the air, head planted by DLH as Draven's thrown outside the ring. Both Spanky and Rocket want a piece of Draven. Spanky not going after Rocket. DLH again locks up Mork in the ring. A kick to the groin from Rocket on Draven. Up. Straight in the air goes Mork. And here comes DLH with the pin. As Draven's thrown to the cage wall and Spanky finally sees it. Rocket's out there on a two count. Mork survives. Rocket comes back with a counter elbow. Now punches away at the face of Spanky. Mork still down at the mercy of DLH in the ring. And again, Mork being set up. DLH has Mork up for a jackhammer. Down goes Mork. DLH with the pin. And Mork survives again. The card lagging? Because it looked good here. Pin attempt from Draven. 
and Rock gets eliminated. We'll do this real quick for you guys, make sure it's not the card. We are back in business now. Pin attempt from Spanky on Mork eliminates him. We're down to three wrestlers. It'll be DLH, Draven, or Spanky as your new Mixer Chat champion. Spanky counters DLH, throws him down into the cage floor. Draven also down. Spanky control rolls in. Elbow dropped on DLH. I've only, dropped, I've only dropped three frames. It's got to be Mixer Side distributing it. I don't have a, a, an upstream problem. DLA is thrown in the cage wall by Spank. Now Spank goes after Draven, but Draven ready for it. Face breaks Spanky. Now Spanky up in the air. Hip splitter from Draven. And now Draven all of a sudden in control. Goes back to work on Dirty Little Hamster. The big dog, 861. Thank you for the follow. And welcome to BOCW Thursday Night Thunder. Draven goes back into the ring. Looking for more of DLH. Spanky follows him in. Now Draven goes with a pin on the heavyweight champion. A two count and the hamster kicks out. Spanky takes advantage of Draven looking at the handiwork and Spank throws Draven down to the canvas. Kicks DLH while he's down. Fucking f sucking f cold f Jesus Christ. So the swear jar's up to 27 tributes. Spanky telling them both to get up from the top rope. DLH. And no, Draven's not up, but DLH is up. And look at this from Spank. He jumps, lands, and twists, throws DLH down. And now catches Draven from behind and plants the voodoo witch doctor down to the canvas as well. And Spanky in control. Card game in chat. Exclamation point gamble to get in and earn some tributes towards improving your wrestler or just the bet and least. DLH rolls away from Spank, but St Spank stays right there. Spanky rolls in and DLH is ready. Throws him over the ropes with one arm. Now DLH goes outside for some revenge on Spank, who's been in control for a little bit. Three wrestlers still in this Mixture Chat Championship match, and Spanky slammed down to the cage floor by the heavyweight champion, Dirty Little Hamster. Draven looking for an opening, can't find one, finally does. Throws Spanky into the cage wall, but DLH is there, rolls right in on Draven, puts him down on the floor of the cage, and the Hamster goes to the pin on Draven. Draven's been in there for a little while. Been in there long enough for DLH to eliminate him, and it'll either be Spanky or Dirty Little Hamster as your new Mixture Chat champion. DLH rolls in, tries to choke slam Spanky, but Spanky says, I don't think so, and reverses that, countering DLH down to the cage floor. Now Spanky uh, rolls in, kicks. Oh, and that one landed DLH's face on Spanky's shoulder. Look at Spank dancing outside the ring in the face of the hamster. Rolls up again, and look at this backflip slam. Goes for the pin of the belt. And your new Mixer Chat Champion is Spanky. The champ is here. Look at him in chat. <laughs> Stanley and Mork. Mork with a huge payday. Congratulations on your first. BOCW Championship. We roll in a match 607. This next one will decide who faces OG Killer Squirrel for the Intercontinental Championship on Sunday. The Spanky celebrates his first ever title in BOCW. Wesley Wolf has been waiting for the next match for a little while. I know he wants to win it more than anybody. Will Wesley Wolf get his rematch with OG Killer Squirrel? Say, get a Power Ranger. We actually have a Power Ranger. But here we go from left to right. It's Skinja, Wesley Wolf, Mr. Permanoob, the NXT champion, Intent Rocket, Sweet Dave, Jamal, Mork, and yes, DJ Wu. These are your top contenders for the Intercontinental Championship. One of them will walk into the ring Sunday night. We're going to find out which one right now. No belt on the line. Max Tributes, 250. Over the top rope of Battle Royale, they go for a shot at the Intercontinental Championship Sunday night in the main event.
Wesley Wolf and Rocket, your early bet leaders, but pretty evenly distributed. No one betting on Permanuve or DJ Wu. Can't get into the stream. It's Mixer being Mixer, dude. I've had problems with people's streams all week. Someone could relay that to us, and that'd be great. Oh, can't get to the stream store. Um, let's do this. Let's disconnect, reconnect, and see if that solves your problem. Don't bet on this, dork, says our corporate master. Look, look. I'm cool. not saying my phone background is shirtless just a beaver, but it might be. Permanuv in his alternate costume tonight. The first, here comes Rocket. Rocket cut in the last match. Looks like the the cut doctor got that taken care of quickly with some super glue. Let's see if it stays closed. Rocket on his way back down to the ring. You ever heard of a cut doctor in boxing? Cut man, cut doctor. Yeah, we have one of them. It's just a guy with super glue, but yeah. Never heard, wow, never heard of Cut Man. The cut Man in boxing is the person that sits in the corner and they they basically are there to keep swelling down and with big ice bags and they get the cuts as sealed as they can uh, between, uh, between uh, rounds. There's actually a really famous cut man in uh, Creed. Like one of the best cut men to ever be involved in boxing is in the movie Creed. It's my grandfather loved boxing growing up, so I learned like all the way back to to Lewis, like the history of heavyweight boxing. If it was stitches, you'd see him. They actually hold them together and just. Put the crazy glue on there and seal it up. That's what we do in BSCW. We're cheap. Talk to Permanu about that cut budget, everybody. We <laughs> took one outside of 7 Eleven. Uh oh, Jamal just challenged Eddie. There's one person in front of you, Jamal, that I know of. So that at least will not be for a week. We wait for the next wrestler to load in. Rocket in the ring. This is, I believe, Rocket's first chance or second chance at a core belt match. But this is not Sexy Boy Sweet Dave's first shot. One of your tag team champion, Super Sweet Squirrel members, Sweet Dave, looking for a shot at his tag team partner if he wins this match. He's a sexy boy. Dave's had a shot in this match before to get to that IC title match and has lost. Last time, he was the last man standing between Squirrel on Squirrel's way to Wesley Wolf. You're gone, Rocket. Meaning you don't believe you can win? That's closed. DJ Wu is the bet favorite. I believe that one, everybody. But Mr. Permanube has the most money on him. <laughs> and speaking of that corporate mastery, here he is in his alternate blue suit. The NXT champion, Mr. Permanube, on his way down to the ring. That belt not on the line here. This has been a most unusual day. That's true.
Corporate strut. <laughs> Accurate. Ken Permanub has only been in the E Fed since Bash of the Beast stunned the world. He's in this match thanks to that NXT belt. Can he win it and get to Squirrel? Yeah, I should apologize because you ain't paying me enough to wash your damn car. That's how I walked to the coffee machine, too. <laughs> What are you talking about? You don't walk to the coffee machine. Your assistant brings it to you. I do not. <laughs> Jamal. Jamal has had this belt when it was the cruiserweight belt. It transitioned into the Intercontinental Championship back at the start of summer. And Jamal has not been able to reclaim it since then. This is a shot for Jamal to do that. Jamal was the second ever cruiserweight champion at BOCW. But we all decided that weight differences are dumb. We all want to wrestle each other. So it transitioned into a belt everyone has a chance at. Jamal in the ring. <laughs> we have to have you come in this weekend, okay? I know if you heard me say earlier, but the Permacorp logo on the side is a long-running joke, and Perma has embraced it now. There is a Permacorp coffee mug in his Streamlabs merch store. You should feel free at any time to post that link in this stream, Perm, because I know some people would love to have one of those. You can you can sell your swag here. I don't care. I'm on leave. I mean PTO. Here he is, the man on a mission, Wesley Wolf, looking to walk away a winner here and set up a date with Destiny to go back at Squirrel. Gamer heads, thank you for the follow. Welcome to BSCW. Wesley Wolf. Counting it out in the Intercontinental Championship match right before Bash of the Beast, surrendering the belt to OG Killer Squirrel wants back in that match badly. This is his chance. Yeah. Whisper, I'm good. At the end of the day, it belongs to you. I was just giving ideas. Co-opting it. Heavy. Hey. Howdy. <laughs> Wesley Wolf in and here comes Mork this is why I told Dustin he had time intros for an 8 man take a minute I'm Aphrodite Mork puts on the hoodie. Mork also cut in the last match. Mork has never been in a core title match before. This would be his first time if he wins this match. Sweet Dave in this match has a history of being eliminated from Royal Rumbles or Battle Royale pretty quickly. See if you can hang out for more than 10 seconds. Two more wrestlers to come down the ramp after Mork, and we'll get going. You need it? Man, really? You've been in a tag team uh, match, Doc. Not a singles match. Yeah, tag's a core title.
Okay, well. He's never been in a singles core title match. Mork in the ring. Here comes Skinja Ninja slinking into this match. He was the last man on the contenders list to get in. Can Skinja defy odds, walk away with a title shot? Ninja Ninja getting into the ring. DJ Wu will follow him down and we'll get started here. Surprisingly, DJ Wu, the bet favorite. Wesley Wolf, Perm, Rocket, and Mork all with two bets on them. Skinja, Dave, and Jamal, only one bet placed per. But Perm and Ruben Rocket have the most money on them. No, it's coming up. It'll be a week from Sunday. So we started the tag team cycle for men tonight. Women already have one tag team match in the books. Ninja Ninja in the ring. Seven wrestlers down the ramp. And here comes DJ Wu with a chance to get into the Intercontinental Championship match. I think the only belt DJ Wu has ever won is NXT. If he gets in and takes that belt, that would be something. He's been in the unified match, for Christ's sake. All right, so while DJ Wood gets in the ring, I forgot to mention earlier, there is a new command in Discord. It's dollar sign BOCW help. All one word. If you ever want to know where rules are, a list of abilities or a list of skills or how to join an event. BOCW help is the command you want. That will give you the command you're looking for. But here we go. Moore goes after Permanu quickly. Puts him in the corner. Sweet Dave dropped by Jamal. DJ Wu on the knee of Skinja falls down. And Wesley Wolf's on the ropes already. Rocket trying to end the dream for Wesley Wolf. And Wesley Wolf says, I don't think so. Jamal lifted up on the ropes by Skinja Ninja. Rocket dropped by Wesley Wolf. And Mork's in trouble. The hands of Permanu. Jamal over the ropes. Perm countered by Mork. Jamal. In trouble. Skinja can't get it done, though. And Jamal comes back with an E-counter. Mork on the ropes again. Perma Noob trying to get him eliminated. Rocket and Wesley Wolf on the right side ropes. And Sweet Dave is thrown down by DJ Wu. It's roommate on roommate. Skinja dropped by Jamal. Mork now kicks at Sweet Dave. Rocket getting in punches on Wesley Wolf. And it's just a mass of people in the middle of the ring. I can't tell what's going on. Wesley Wolf thrown against the ropes by Mork. But he's not going to be thrown out off that move. Herman who slammed by, down by DJ Wu. Rock, no, Jamal dropped by Skinja Ninja. Rocket in the corner at the hands of Sweet Dave. But Skinja Ninja saves Rocket. Throws Sweet Dave far side corner. Mork punches away at Wesley Wolf. And now Wesley Wolf counters Mork almost. But he had him in the corner and he falls down off a turnbuckle. Rocket on the ropes in the hands of Jamal who punches instead of coming over the clothesline. Permanu punches the skin to Ninja. And now Sweet Dave gets in the way. Jamal grabs Permanu, throws him off the right side ropes. He comes back. Jamal lifting him up. And Permanu crashes down. Sweet Dave throw near side corner by Pickle Rick Skinja Ninja. As DJ Wu drops Rocket, runs in with a kick, and Rocket goes down. Mork taking punches to the face. Comes back and counters Wesley Wolf. Jamal on the ropes in trouble. If anyone can line that up, Permanu does. And Jamal's hopes end. Permanu eliminates the pride of Indianapolis. Jamal's the first wrestler out of the ring. Rocket back up. Mork being drugged to his feet by Wesley Wolf. Skinja Ninja. Got caught by DJ Wu and Mr. Permanu grabs him and face plants him like pickle relish. Rocket comes back with a counter on DJ Wu. Mork in trouble with the hands of Wesley Wolf. Mork now being lifted high by Wesley Wolf and over he goes, but not out. Wesley Wolf trying to finish the job. Rocket can't figure out what to do with Dave sitting there. Lucky for Dave, that was almost a sure elimination. DJ Wu slammed down by Mr. Permanu. Wesley Wolf comes back punching, but Mork with a counter as Sweet Dave goes over the ropes, but not out. And Rocket tries to get it done. Ginja Ninja really interested in what was going on in that corner. He got a little too close for comfort, but Permanu jumps, grabs, and or hits Ginja and also lands on DJ Wu. Wesley Wolf 
The run ends. Mork ends the night for Wesley Wolf, and it will not be a rematch. Mork throws Skinja Ninja off the right side ropes. The Lariat comes in and lands. Sweet Dave being lifted up by Rocket. Skinja Ninja being put on the ropes by Mork. Permanoob dropped by DJ Wu. Skinja Ninja going to counter Mork. Sweet Dave counters Rocket back. Permanoob still in the ring. DJ Wu grabbed by Skinja Ninja. He's going to counter that, though, and roll him over. No pins, though. Backbreaker from Sweet Dave on Rocket. Mork caught off guard by Wu. Thrown into the corner. Skinja Ninja kicks Sweet Dave near side. And Mork goes over the ropes ahead of DJ Wu, and he's gone. Permanu picks up Rocket near side. Sweet Dave, Skinja Ninja, DJ Wu as Rocket's countered and thrown into the corner by Mr. Permanu, who's still alive in the match. Rocket comes back kicking, though. Counters Mr. Permanu. Mork eliminated. Can't believe it. Down to five wrestlers. Wu counters Rocket, slams him down as Sweet Dave is put down to the canvas by Skinja Ninja, who goes after Mr. Permanu. DJ Wu runs in, rolls over the top side of Rocket, and bends the neck forward. Rocket in trouble with the hands of the fuzzy one. Mr. Permanu on the ropes. At the hands of Skinja Ninja, who does not go for the clothesline and tries to lift our corporate master out of the ring. DJ Wu slammed down by Rocket. Newbie over the ropes, but not out. Comes back and punches away at the knee of Skinja Ninja. Sweet Dave and DJ Wu need time to recover. Rocket feels like he's in control of the match. Sweet Dave rolls in, punches, lands both on Skinja and Perm. And now Perm finds Rocket, throws Rocket near far side corner. Skinja recovering, comes back and counters Sweet Dave. Rocket now being lifted by Permanoob. Up on the turnbuckle goes Rocket. Skinja climbs onto the second rope. Comes down crashing on Sweet Dave. DJ Wu still down and out. Rocket. Is this the end of the night for Rocket? Permanu trying to make it happen. Sweet Dave planted on the flat top. No, says Rocket. Comes back with a counter elbow. And Perm stunned back in the middle of the ring. DJ Wu back up. Rocket now over the ropes. Perm swings and misses from eight counties away. Comes back and Rocket's ready. Punches back in the ring. Sweet Dave gut busted by Skinja Ninja. Permanu dropped by Intent Rocket. DJ Wu rolls in, goes after his roommate, picks Sweet Dave up. Now, Skinja Ninja in trouble on the ropes as Rocket tries to lift the pickle out. Look at this from DJ Wu, runs in and kicks Sweet Dave in the face. Skinja, no. Can't be lifted out by Rocket, survives, and DJ Wu has Rocket on the ropes. Now, DJ Wu quickly lifts Rocket up. Is Rocket done? Skinja kicks. Sweet Dave says, I don't think so. Rocket goes over the ropes, but not out. Permanu back to his feet. Rocket counters. DJ Wu gets back in the ring and no one wants to be done. But Skinja Ninja needs a break near side on the apron edge. Rocket swings and misses. DJ Wu ducks that, but Rocket's right there to pick him up. Permanu sees the pickle and goes right after it. DJ Wu drops Rocket again and rolls for a break. Sweet Dave celebrating and his roommate. DJ Wu kicks him in the backside. And Sweet Dave falls down. Permanu and pickle Rick Skinja Ninja. Skinja Ninja comes back with a counter now kicking away at the midsection in the chest of Perm and he's down. The big kick lands from DJ Wu. He runs off the ropes, comes in, and drops the big leg on the back of Sweet Dave. Permanent was thrown near side corner by Skinja, who doesn't follow up. Sweet Dave grabbed by DJ Wu, taken over to the ropes. Is DJ Wu going to send Sweet Dave home? No, he kicks. Dave in trouble. Now Skinja wants to finish the job as DJ Wu goes after Permanent. Sweet Dave lifted by Pickle Rick Skinja Ninja. Permanent counters. DJ Wu throws him into the corner. Dave over the ropes, but not done. Wu comes back with a counter to the face of Permanent, swings and misses. Skinja. And now Rocket teaming up on Sweet Dave as Permanu slammed down by DJ Wu. Sweet Dave looks like he's going to hold on. He comes back. That one hurts Skinja. There's two wrestlers laying on that apron edge. Permanu needs that break. Sweet Dave back in the ring. And now Skinja Ninja picks up and throws down DJ Wu. The big European uppercut from Sweet Dave lands. Sends Rocket back toward the ropes. But Rocket with the counter slams Sweet Dave down to the canvas. And now Skinja Ninja goes after Rocket punching. Now Rocket again on the ropes and Skinja trying to get the job done. Skinja has Rocket up. Rocket holds on to that top rope. Rocket goes over the top, but again holds on. Everyone else down and out. Skinja trying to finish off Rocket, but Rocket says, I don't think so, and again counters with the elbow to the knee. Sweet Dave crawls looking for the ropes. Mr. Permanent trying to get up as well. Sweet Dave's not going to make it, though. As Skinja Ninja comes back. Backbreaker of the knee. Permanent in trouble on the ropes. Rocket punches away as Skinja's thrown far side corner. Perm, though, counters finally. Kicks away at the midsection of Rocket. DJ Wu thrown far side corner by Sweet Dave. Look at this. DJ Wu clothesline by Sweet Dave, and that is the end of Wu Wu's night. And Skinja there to pick up the pieces. Goes right after Sweet Dave, and Rocket's being lifted out by Permanoob. Sweet Dave near side corner, throw by Skinja. One of these four wrestlers will face Squirrel on Sunday. Perm throws Rocket over the ropes, but again not out. 
A clothesline from Skins and Ninja eliminates Sweet Dave, and we're down to three. And Perm and Skins and Ninja team up on Rocket, and Rocket again with a counter kicks the face of Skins and Ninja. Elbows Perm and Ubin survives. Perm picked up by Rocket. Rocket throws no. Perm and Ubin counters, rolls in. The big arm bar crashes down to Rocket's trouble. Now look at Perm and Ubin rolls in, grabs Skins and Ninja by the head, and plants him on the canvas. And now all of a sudden, Mr. Permanent Ubi Control, no, sweeps out the legs. Skins and Ninja counters Perm and throws him down into canvas. And now Skins and Ninja trying to take care of business. Picks up Permanent on the shoulders. Perm tried to get out of it, but no, got busted across the knee of Skins and Ninja. Rocket trying to come to his senses near side apron edge. It's Perm and Skinja in the ring. Skinja takes Perm to the ropes. This might be the end of the night. Skinja lining it up. Permanent, Ube, oh my goodness, the clothesline, and somehow Perm held on. I thought that was the end of it for Permanent. Perm trying to get back to his feet as Skinja waits. Rocket trying to get back up. Skinja grabs up Permanoob again, has him on his shoulders, and drops him in the ring. Skinja walks and turns around, sees Rocket, and Rocket drops him, and now Rocket goes after Permanoob as Skinja takes a break. Permanoob grabbed by Rocket, middle of the ring, taking over the left side ropes. Rocket trying to line up the elimination again, and this time Permanoob goes over and again holds on. Herman, who's not going to be denied in this match. That's twice he's been clotheslined over the top rope, and he's held on. Rocket trying to lift up Herman, who up in the air goes. Mr. Herman, who's slammed down by Rocket. Three wrestlers left for a chance at Squirrel in the IC title Sunday. Herman, who has his head turned sideways as Rocket stomps down. Skinja starting to come to his senses near side. Herman, who hasn't had a break in a while. Perm again lifted up by Rocket. Pile driver time from Rocket. And that cut Permanube inside his helmet. Apparently there's blood on the visor. Skinja back to his feet. Counters Rocket off the hold. And now Rocket rolls for a break. And again, Permanube's not going to get one. Skinja goes right back to work on our corporate master. The diving punch to the side of the helmet lands. Now Mr. Permanube locked up by the pickle. He's trying to crack open that helmet like a pistachio. But it's glued on. It's not going to come open. He's got a drinking straw in there. Permanube. Slammed down, helmet first by Skinja Ninja. Permanu has been taking a beating for the last three minutes, has not been able to get a breather as the other two wrestlers just trade out, taking breaks. Knee to the midsection from Skinja Ninja. Permanu backed off, but he's right there to grab Skinja Ninja. Perma survived two clotheslines, now has Skinja Ninja on the ropes. And this might be the end of the night for Skinja Ninja as Perm takes him over and he says, that's not going to happen. Skinja Ninja eliminated. And it's down to Mr. Permanube or Intent Rocket 9 for a chance at the Intercontinental Championship. Rocket back to his feet. Permanube says, I don't think so on a punch. Throws it to the side. Comes back counter punching. And now Perm with the clothesline drops Rocket in the ring. Rocket or Perm, who's it going to be? Rocket grabbed. Getting back to his feet. Comes back counter punching in the midsection of Mr. Permanube. Now grabs him. Permanube dangerously close to those near side ropes. Rocket backs him up, rolls in, and slams Permanoob down, but not out. Permanoob again grabbed by the helmet. Rocket takes him over to the left side ropes. No, to the turnbuckle. Permanoob on the turnbuckle. Rocket rolls in with a clothesline. And it will be intent. Rocket 9 to face OG Killer Squirrel for the Intercontinental Championship on Sunday. Congratulations, Rocket. Hell of a match. Perm, that was a hell of a match from you, too, surviving all of that. Rocket, your winner. Take your tributes. Maz and Diablo. Diablo, the big tribute winner there. <laughs> That's fair, Perm. Good match, though. Rocket, your winner. So... Before we roll into the next match, which is the Mixer Chat Championship for the Women's Division, if someone would type exclamation point MCC in chat. Well, it should work. Maybe it doesn't work. Maybe the boss behind. Did I code it wrong? Oh, yeah, awesome. Let me go look. I'm good at streaming stuff. I said it's just me. That's probably what it is. Let's do this. There it is. The Discord commands to enter next week's Mixer Chat Championships are men. Join event 12, women. Join event 13 in Discord. 
And I know why it didn't work, because it's sent to just me. So we're going to set that off of caster and set it to regular. You can now check that anytime you want to get those commands. Those are now open. You can go to Discord right now and get into those matches for, for next week. But women, you might want to wait and see who champion is. We will win that match now, the last match of the night. Heads up, Dustin. We should be done in about 15 minutes or so. From left to right, it is Savage, Queen, Madriel, then Queen Death, Peace, Rebellion, Hunter, Mindy the Champion, and Carnival. Now I need to set this bit up, but I didn't save it. Pink, 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 pink. Mads. Queen Death. Peace. Yeah, I am Peace Rebellion. Hunter. Mindy. All right, so main event, Annabelle on the line. Max bet is 1,000. You can place those bets for 90 seconds starting right now. It's on a five minute cooldown, the MCC command. Mads taking home the bets early. You have a minute left. Mads option one, Queen Death two, Peace Rebellion three, Hunter four, Minty five, Carnival six. Jamal placing the bet on Peace Rebellion. Squirrel going for Carnival. Diablo also goes for Peace Rebellion, who is now the heavy bet favorite. They go over to the ladder. Fifteen hundred tributes on Peace Rebellion, seven hundred on Mads. No one else with more than two hundred on them. One bet on Mindy for fifty. She's the champ. Yes, you did win the ladder once. Five seconds left in your bet window. As we roll into the main event of BOCW Thursday Night Thunder, thank you all for being here tonight. Don't forget, we have power rankings after this, and then we're going to take you over to Dustin for the BOCW after party and Jackbox games until midnight Eastern time, if not later. The belt hangs above the ring, and here she is, Peace Rebellion, one half the tag team champion, Peace Punks. <laughs> the hell, man? What's the uh, swear jar up to? 27. <laughs> Still a little bit Stanley. Oh no, Stanley's doing a card game. Never mind, I thought that was worse. Peace Rebellion on our way into the ring. Looking to reclaim Mr. Chat Champion. The women are still one, two, three Sundays away from going after Ash and the Women's Division Championship. This is all about positioning themselves in power rankings for that potential match. On top of taking a belt home. 400 tributes in a card game. Exclamation point gamble to get in. Uh, I was. I thought Peace was going to win that hands down. Here comes the zombie hunter on her way into the ring. Card game rolling. Up to 700 tributes. Got about a minute left.
Our game up to a thousand. She can walk away with the crown here. So women, um, going to mention this, we are about to lose one woman off the roster due to inactivity. Highly encourage you to get out there in your streams and whatnot. If you'd like to see your friends join in on the women's side, we definitely have like 20 openings still. Kind of grew the roster, then it got stagnant. Time to go on a women recruiting drive again, I believe. Hunter in the ring. Peace Rebellion down the ramp. Now he's late. We already have a pimp. That's Chris. Here she comes. Here's Queen Death. Looking to reclaim this belt. She's had it before. Ugh, Miller. I want a freaking Fuller's, man. Feel the glow. No NASCAR beer. Piss. That's the word. Nudie, there's your word. Sixteen K whisper. That's not right. Nope. Nope, they're right. Here comes the Mixer Chat Champion. IPAs are horrible. Mindy, the Mixer Chat Champion, making her way down. No, horrible. Yes, yes, yes. There are too many people making IPAs badly and calling it craft beer to sell them. There are good IPAs out there. It's just a saturated market. There are some IPAs I like, but there are a lot of IPAs that are just like, what the hell was this? Why are you putting like Mandarin peel slice into your beer? I'll drink Guinness in a pinch. And if my choices are like Guinness or Coors. I know someone who loves root beer. Yeah, but Coors worse. If it's one of my like last options, it's 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 not that Guinness is bad, it's Guinness is bad in America. Not your father's root beer is good. My dad liked Werner's ginger ale growing up, and it turned me off of like heavy tasting soda. Mindy, the Mixer Chat champion, in the ring as we talk about beer and root beer in chat. And here comes Savage Queen Madriel looking to reclaim a title. She handled Peace Rebellion easy on Monday night. Oh, I like high gravity beers. I mean, that's not just Guinness. High gravity stouts are like that. Drop your quality or go to uh, get off of FTL. Only can tell you. Yeah, Verner's is rough. I like, I like Seagram's Canada Dry Ginger Ale. That's good. Yep. Ginger beer, good too. Get ginger beer here. My soccer pub has it. 
Mads in the ring looking to reclaim a title. Ugh. Stop looking at my boobs, Stanley. Mads in the ring. Mindy down the ramp. Queen Death down the ramp as well. Here comes Carnival. The other half of the tag team champion, Peace Punks. They have grabbed those belts since their creation and never let go. We'll see in a week and a half if they'll still hold on to them. They def they've defended them against the Daughters of Athena twice now. I drink like two things that I'm out and do an iced tea if I'm not drinking beer or whiskey or water I'm trying to drink more water but here we go ladders are there only one ladder is there though but that's enough unless they derp on it we'll keep the match going Queen Death in the clutches of Peace Rebellion Mindy the champion back break holes Carnival Matt immediately goes for the ladder that doesn't happen very often and Hunter says what are you doing? That's not how these work. We gotta wait a while. It has to. You have to let it sit. The ladder has to percolate. Party ball thrown down by Mindy. Queen Death again. Slammed down to the mat by Peace Rebellion, who jumps over her head, rings her neck. Mads being kicked by the Zambo outside the ring. Party ball thrown over the ropes by Mindy. By the mixer logo, Mindy follows her outside. Now, Hunter again jumps around, twists, slams down Mads. Peace Rebellion thrown off the near side ropes by Queen Death. Queen Death catches her on the way back, drops her down to the mat. Now Mads counter punching back against Hunter furiously near side, drops her face first on the ladder. Now Mads says, Never mind that ladder. What are these guys doing over here? Mindy over there dropping Carnival down, but Mads there to save her a little bit. Mindy up on the shoulders, back broken on the ramp edge. Peace Rebellion picking up Queen Death in the ring. Hunter back to her feet. Queen Death thrown off the left side ropes. Back she comes. And Peace Rebellion throws Queen Death down. Hunter was walking back towards the scrum on the left side, and Matt saw it, says, just stay right there, and walks back over, looking for more of Mindy. Carnival says, oh, hey, look, Hunter, and walks down left side near corner barricade. Everyone's outside the ring now. Looks like Queen Death was thinking about that ladder and said, never mind, going right back after Peace Rebellion over by the announcer table. Mads kicks away at Hunter. Mindy down on the mixer logo, clutching her midsection. Carnival's trying to get back to her feet. Queen Death walking their way, and now everyone's clamoring up in that left side corner, except Mindy, who goes back in the ring for some reason. She took a shortcut, and it looks like she wants that ladder. No, she doesn't. Just wants to get a different angle as Queen Death backflip slams into Carnival. Mads grabs Mindy. Knees. Drops her. No, Mindy does not fall. Hunter up on the shoulders of Peace Rebellion as Mindy drops Mads, and it's just a scrum of six women down there on the edge of that barricade. Queen Death up on the shoulder, slams down Carnival. Peace Rebellion back to her feet as Queen Death misses with a drop kick, rolls in, doesn't miss a second time, grabs her from behind. Minty's thrown to the barricade wall by Mads, and everyone's down by that ladder. I don't think anyone cares about that ladder. Mads suplexed by Mindy on that ladder. It's stuck up in the air, so we all know it's still there. Mindy now grabbed by being grabbed by Hunter being grabbed by Mindy. Mads kicked in the face by Peace Rebellion. Queen Death down. Carnival looking for. Her. Mindy throws Hunter into the ring post. Peace Rebellion up in the air. Dropkick puts Mindy down, and she goes looking for Queen Death. Somersault lands on Queen Death, but there's Mads. Finding Peace Rebellion, throwing her all the way to the right side barricade wall. Carnival picks up Hunter. Mindy back in the ring again. No ladder in there yet. Mindy takes a long walk over by the announcer's table. Peace Rebellion slams down Mads. Queen Death back to her feet. Hunter down. Mindy runs in, just... Two foot kicks Queen Death right back to the butt. And Carnival's there to pick up the pieces. Puts Mindy down. Hunter in the hands of Peace Rebellion. Left side as Mads tries to get up. Still no one interested in that ladder. Mindy being walked over to the barricade. But no. And the slam of Queen Death on Mads. No. Mindy did slam down Carnival. Queen Death sweeps out the leg. Puts Mads down head first. Hunter put Peace Rebellion down. Still no one interested in the ladder. Hunter trips falls down. Mads being punched at by Queen Death. And now finally Mindy has the ladder. Mindy says, let's not put this in the ring. Let's chop Carnival in a little bit. It's near side. And now Mindy puts the ladder inside the ring. Hunter 
Has Peace Rebellion. No, Peace Rebellion counters that and just drops her. Now Mindy all by herself in the ring, getting ready to set that ladder up. Carnival sees it. Her tag team partner tried to stop her, and now both Peace Punks in the ring trying to stop Mindy, but they team up on it against each other. Peace Rebellion thrown far side corner. Mindy up, and Carnival is there to try to stop it. Matt stops Queen Death right side corner, and now everyone's in the ring but Queen Death trying to stop Mindy. Mindy still being given all day to work on that. Peace Rebellion and Hunter giving Mindy all day to get that lock on done. Maz doesn't know what to do. She looks up. Matt's still just looking up at Mindy as Hunter climbs a ladder and she lets go of the belt. Hunter trying to stop Mindy. Mindy crashes down and nails Mads. Now Queen Death and Peace Rebellion team up, throw that ladder out, and Hunter's left holding on to the belt. Bago is for the Juggalos. Mads down. Carnival trying to get up on the second rope, telling someone to get up. It's Mindy. Queen Death kicks away at Mads. Peace Rebellion goes after Queen Death but can't get a grab. Hunter trying to get up and Peace Rebellion grabs a ladder. Goes looking for someone to hit with it first. She's trying to clear the ring out. Queen Death goes outside with Maz. A ladder thrown down by Peace Rebellion. And now Peace Rebellion fights Hunter. Hunter comes back with a knee counter. Carnival ball thrown down by Mindy. Mindy thinks about falling her outside. Peace Rebellion goes for a break. Look at the break dance move by Queen Death on Maz outside. Peace Rebellion trying to get back to her feet. Mindy just derps. Hunter also not doing anything. Mindy likes to stare at her enemies. We have determined. Queen Death again slams down Mads. Hunter breaks up the derp of Mindy. Sets the ladder up. Peace Rebellion says, no, that's not what we want. Don't set that ladder up. And now Peter Bunyan picks the ladder up. Who's she? What's she gonna do? She's gonna go after Hunter. She swings and misses. Mads just getting worked by Queen Death outside, top edge of the apron. And now the ladder is up. Peace Rebellion, no challengers in the ring with her. Queen Death throws down Mads. She's exhausted. Hunter walks outside and then finally sees Peace Rebellion on the ladder. Queen Death sees it as well. Hunter climbs up, stopping Peace Rebellion's quest for that belt. Queen Death, as small as she is, trying to knock the ladder out from underneath two people. Mindy. Nailed by Peace Rebellion as Hunter drops her. Peace Rebellion down. Queen Death trying to get Hunter off the belt. Carnival can't be bothered. Look at Queen Death taking the ladder out from underneath Hunter. Carnival throws down Mads. Farside barricade wall. It's like Queen Death wants Carnival as Mindy, the champion, gets her hands on the ladder in the ring. Ladder set up. Mindy with no challengers in there. Carnival dancing and stuck in an animation as Mindy goes to the top of the ladder. Queen Death getting to her senses. No one in there challenging Mindy. She's in there by herself. Carnival in to try to stop it. She's at the base of the ladder. Punches away the backside of Mindy, the champion. Mads back to her feet, getting some revenge on Hunter and Queen Death. Mindy's still working the lock. They look up, and it looks like Mindy is probably going to retain this, and she does. Mindy retains Mixer Chat Champion. Too many wrestlers concerned with too many other things. Mindy, still Mixer Chat Champion. Eddie was thinking about it. Have a good night, Tom. Thank you for hanging out, my friend. Mork and Dr. Death with big tribute payouts on their bets. Dr. Death probably made a killing tonight. Still makes your chat champion, Mindy. Looking strong right now. All right, so we will roll this to the next show so you guys can see me make the, uh, the power rankings changes. These will be the power rankings that are effective rolling into Sunday. And then we will get you over to Dustin, assuming Dustin is ready to go. Yep, cool. 3K profit, sweet. That's a good night. Don't forget, I have been auto-hosting with uh, Eddie pretty much constantly, so if you don't have a stream to watch, you can always lurk uh, this channel, watch some of the streamers in our family, and uh, earn tributes. Eddie is giving tributes out to lurkers at a slower rate. So let's move this into the next show, which will be Sunday. But it's on Tuesday because that's how it works. All right. Power rankings. Squirrel number one. DLH two. Ash fall into three. She's held that belt longer. So she goes back to two. Mindy makes her chat champion. Sweet Dave stays right there. Kay stays there. Hunter will fall. Honey Vaughn will go back up under K's. 
Peace Rebellion will go back up under her tag team partner. Mr. Permanent stays right there. NXT does not move. Dr. Death is going to move up. Right underneath Peace Rebellion. Make sure we didn't miss anybody else. Spanky going to make a huge jump. Who is that? Horty Planet, thank you for the follow. Welcome to BOCW as we end things tonight. We're wrapping up. Actually, I need to put... I didn't catch myself in there. I was ahead of Dr. Death. So we're going to insert there. And I go back up ahead of Doc. Right there. There we go. So these are your power rankings. Squirrel 1. That's going to be a tough ask for Rocket. Ash 2. DLH 3. Mindy 4. Sweet Dave 5. K 6. Carnival 7. Peace Rebellion 8. Fixer 9. Dr. Death 10, Spanky 11, then Hunter, Master Poe, Wesley Wolf, Rocket at 15, even though with a win drop down. Mads moves up, Eddie moves up with a loss, Jamal moves down, the Dirty One falls, losing a belt. Mr. Permanu all the way down to 20, lay down Clown, moves up one, Mork drops four, Matt continues his fall, Dustin moves up three, Super Dude falling down, DJ Wu down, Toofy, Money Man Will, Green Evil, Draven, all the newbies, Chris way down. Ulti, Linden, Noodle Queen, Sky, Panzer, Adam Rage. Rage will be off the roster on Sunday. Manic, Music, Queen Death, Chosen One, Triple Seven, Skinja Ninja, Steffa, and at the bottom is Nedge. What's your goal? Who are you here? Win matches. Alrighty, that is the end of BOCW. Where are you? DLH, come on. We just went through the whole damn list. Three. Can I see? God. Intent Rocket. Win matches. Anybody else want to see their goal before I move off the screen? And if you all put your hands up, I'm just going to quit. How about we do this? Watch the VOD if you want to see your goal. I'll go through it slow. Can you move me to seven? No. Eddie's goal will change. Couldn't start their new rivalry tonight. It'll start on uh He's still an enemy of Dustin, but not a rival of Dustin. Still ran in on him though. Show everyone what I'm made of. Chris wants tag team back. Well, it's not much else to do. You have, like, the two belts you can get right now. Defend the title is pretty much the only thing you can do. All right. Let's back out of here. We are done. Thank you very much for hanging out tonight, everybody. We're going to get you over to Dustin. Chill in chat for just a second. He's going to get Jackbox fired up for you. <laughs> At least I ain't as low as music. Wesley Wolf, thank you very much, sir. Thank you all for being here tonight. We're going to have you over to Dustin in just a second. We will see you again Sunday night for Sunday Night Smackdown at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Until then, guys, have a great weekend. Uh, I'm sure I'll talk to some of you in other streams or in Discord. And don't forget, if you need the numbers for those Mixer Chat Championships to get into them in Discord, there they are one more time. Roman Reigns, no. No Roman Reigns, Diego. All right, guys, have a great night. We'll get you over to Dustin. We will talk to you Sunday night.